Hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So we are now uh, done discussing topics on permutations and combinations. Uh, so for this week, week 6, we will be discussing another topic. So yung topic po natin for this week has something to do with union and intersection of events. I know some of you are familiar with union and intersection. So these are words... Uh, na pinag-aralan nyo during your grade 7. So, kung yung topics natin on sex. So, i-discuss natin kung paano ang union at intersection of events. Let us have our lesson objectives. We will illustrate events and union and intersection of events. Of course, before we proceed to uh, illustra illustrating union and intersection of events, we have to define first what is an event. So in mathematics, what do we mean by event? So let us review. So what are these symbols? Okay, so ito yung mga symbols na I know familiar sa inyo. So the first symbol, A, and then B, and letter C. So, yung first symbol po natin, ang tawag po natin dyan is union. Okay. Big sabihin, pinagsasama natin yung dalawa or higit pang sets. And then, yung pangalawa naman, we have intersection. So, for intersection, kinukuha lang po natin yung mga common elements. And then, for letter C, if, there not, if a set do not have uh, any elements, so wala po siyang elements, wala siyang laman, so we call that an empty set or null set. Null set or empty set. So what about this figure? Ayan, so yung figure po na yan, madalas po natin yung nakikita sa mathematics or in other areas as well. So, kapag kinocompare natin yung mga bagay, so, kinitignan natin yung pagkakaiba nila o kaya naman pagkakatulad. So, ang tawag po sa figure na yan is Venn Diagram. So, sa Venn Diagram, makikita natin yung union of two sets or two or more sets, tsaka din yung intersection. So, kapag union, pinagsasama natin yung mga sets. Pag naman intersection, tinitignan natin yung mga uh, common elements nila. So, consider this. In a six-sided die experiment, A represents that the number is odd, B represents that the number is a multiple of 3, and C represents that the number is a multiple of 4. So, to illustrate din this using uh, a Venn diagram, so ito po siya. So, yung A natin represents that the number is odd. So, yung mga odd numbers, ito yung mga numbers na nag end sa 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And then, B represents that the number is a multiple of 3. So, multiple of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. The, uh, these are numbers that can be divided by 3. Okay. So, as you can see, meron silang common element, which is 3. Because 3 is an odd number, and then 3 is also a multiple of 3. Okay. So, yung common elements nila, yung intersection, laging nasa gitna. Okay. And then, for C, C represents that the number is a multiple of 4. So, out of the 6 numbers, 4 lang po ang multiple ng 4. And then, as you can see, meron tayong number na nasa labas ng mga circles. Ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi belong dun sa circle na yon. And this is the element 2. Okay, 2 is not an odd number. 2 is not a multiple of 3. And 2 is not a multiple of 4. Kaya nasa labas po siya. Ang tawag po dun is yung complement. Okay, and then, naka-enclose yan sa rectangle to indicate the universal set. So, yung universal set, nandun po lahat ng mga 
elements taken into consideration. So, kung hinahanap natin yung elements at wala dun sa circle, makikita po natin lahat yon sa universal set. So, let's have sample space. In a mathematical experiment, the set of all possible outcomes is called sample space denoted by S. So, sample space, the set of all possible outcomes. Okay. So, yung die experiment natin kanina, ilan ang possible outcomes? 6 po. Ayan, denoted by S. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, kapag ni-roll natin yung die, tin-draw natin siya, so, yan lang po yung mga possible outcomes na makikita natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hindi kailanman makakakita tayo dyan ng 7, ng 8, ng 9, o kaya naman 0. Next question, how many elements are there in set S? So, if we are asked to identify the number of elements in a given set, so, we are referring to cardinality. So, cardinality of a set. Okay. So, dinedenote natin yung cardinality, cardinality of a set as, ayan, n of s equals 6. So, since sinahanap lang natin ilan yung elements ng set s natin, ayan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, uh, the number of elements of set S is 6. Let us have events. An event is a collection of outcomes. Also, a subset of a sample space. Based from the Venn diagram, there are three events. A, B, C. Okay. So, ipapakita lang ulit natin yung Venn diagram natin kanina wherein meron po tayo ditong tatlong events. Denoted as A, B, C. So, in event A natin, A represents that the number is odd. Ayan. And then, yung B naman natin, B represents that the number is a multiple of 3. And then, yung event C natin, uh, C represents that the number is a multiple of 4. Okay. Question. What are the elements common to events A and B? Okay, so we have there a question. What are the elements common to events A and B? Okay, so meron ba tayong mga elements na parehong makikita sa event A at event B? So consider natin yung uh, Venn diagram. So ito po yung ating event A. And then ito naman yung ating event B. Pag, pag tinatanong tayo kung meron bang elements common or common elements, we are referring to uh, intersection. Ibig sabihin, makikita natin yung common elements dun sa uh, portion ng kanilang intersection. Okay. So, as you can see, dun sa portion na nag-overlap yung dalawang circle, yung dalawang events, set event A and event B, makikita natin na yung common element nila is 3. Okay, so yung common element is 3. So let us now move on to the first uh, topic which is union of two events. So the union of two events A or B can be written as A union B. These are the elements found in event A event B, or in both A and B. So, to illustrate using Venn diagram, ayan, so yung letter U po natin dyan is the universal set. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng elements makikita sa kanya, matatagpuan sa kanya. And then, we have there uh, event A, and then event B. As you can see, ayan, yung buong portion ng A tsaka B ay shaded. Yun po yung tinatawag nating Union. Ibig sabihin, pinagsasama natin yung mga elements na nasa event A at nasa B. Okay, so kasama po dyan yung intersection. So, by the way, kapag uh, union of two events, so kapag may mga common elements tayo dyan, sinusulat lang po natin yan once. So, for example, what is a union B? 
So, using uh, the same uh, figure, yung Venn diagram natin kanina, so we will uh, identify what is A union B. So, para mas mabilis nating masagot yung A union B, yung uh, union ng events A and B, so ililista po natin yung mga elements ng bawat events. So, for event A, we have 1, 3, 5. By the way, kapag nililista natin mga elements na yan, kailangan po naka-enclose po yan sa mga braces. Next, B naman, we have 3, 6. Okay, so ayan, nakalista na yung set, uh, event, elements ng event A at B. Now, what is A union B? Okay, so pagsasamahin lang po natin yung mga elements ng A at B. As you can see, meron po tayo dyang common element which is 3. Ayan, bibilugan natin. So, isusulat lang po natin yung common element na yan once. Okay, so sulat natin 1, 3, 5, 6. So, ibig sabihin, A union B, ito po yung sagot. A, A union B has elements 1, 3, 5, 6. So, kapag sinulat po natin ganito, A union B is equal to 1, 3, 3, 5, 6. This is wrong. It's because umulit po yung element na 3. Again, once lang po natin isusulat. So, next we have intersection of two events. So, anong pinagkaiba ng union tsaka intersection? So, the, inter the intersection of two events, A and B, written as A intersection B, these are the elements found to both events A and B. So, these are the elements found to both events A and B. So, ito po yung mga uh, elements na makikita pareho sa dalawa or higit pang events. So, ayan, using Venn diagram. So, kung kanina, yung ating dalawang overlapping circles is shaded lahat ng red. So, dito po, itong portion lang po na nasa gitna ang nakashade. Diyan po matatagpuhan yung intersection ng event A and B. Yung kanilang mga common elements. So, what is A intersection B? So, consider the figure below again. So, ang gagawin natin dito, of course, we have to list down the elements of A and B. So, for A, the elements are 1, 3, 5. And then, for B, the elements are 3, 6. Now, what is A intersection B? So, again, when we are talking about uh, intersection, we are only uh, looking for the elements common to both events. Okay, so as you can see, yung element na common to A and B is 3. Therefore, A intersection B is yan, the element 3. Okay, so yan lang po ang ating sagot. It's because yan lang po yung elements na meron sa bawat events. Now, what about complement of events? So, the complement of event A denoted by A complement or A prime are the elements that are not in event A but found in the universal set. So, kaganyan po kahalaga yung universal set. It's because if we are looking for the complement of event A, event B, or any event, so makikita po lahat ng mga elements na hinahanap natin na wala dun sa particular event na yun sa universal set. Again, sa so universal set lang po makikita yung mga elements na wala dun sa particular event na yun. So, consider the figure. Ayan. So, we have their uh, set A. So, ayan yung nasa bilog. And then, kapag kinuha natin yung A complement, sa labas po yun. Ayan, as you can see, A complement. Okay. So, again, yung mga elements na wala dito sa set A or event A, makikita po sa labas. Lahat po ng portion na nasa labas ng circle, yan po yung universal set. As well as, syempre, yung mismong circle. 
Let us have uh, an example. So what is A prime, B prime, C prime, or A complement, B complement, C complement? So pwede po rin natin silang isulat as this one. Ayan. A complement, B complement, C complement. Okay. Now, let us identify first the universal set. The universal set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ito yung kumbaga pinaka-sample space. Kasi nandito lahat ng mga elements na hinahanap natin. Now, what are the elements of A? 1, 3, 5. The elements of B? 3, 6. And then, the elements of C? Or the element of C is 4. Now, what is A prime? So, yung mga elements ng A, 1, 3, 5. So, ano yung mga elements doon na wala at makikita sa universal set? Yun po yung mga elements na 2, 4, 6. Okay. What about B complement? Or B prime? So, i-cross out lang natin yung 3, 6 dun sa universal set. And then, yung mga hindi na-cross out, yun po yung mga elements ng B complement. Those are 1, 2, 4, and 5. And then, for C, obviously, for C, isa lang po yung element niya. So, kapag in-cross out natin yung 4 dun sa universal set, ang mga elements ng C complement, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. So, ganyan lang po yung A complement, B complement, and C complement. What is A union B complement? Okay. So, ang una muna natin kukunin dito is yung uh, union ng A and B. So, yung elements ng universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, yung mga elements ng A, 1, 3, 5. Elements ng B, 3, 6. Now, tun muna tayo sa A union B. Okay. So, yung elements ng A, 1, 3, 5. And then, yung elements ng B, 3, 6. Okay. So, pagsamahin natin yung mga elements ng A at B, sagot natin dyan is 1, 3, 5, 6. Kunin natin yung complement. Okay. So, ano yung mga elements na wala dito sa A union B na makikita natin sa universal set? Okay. So, i-cross out natin yung, o, bilugan natin yung 1, 3, 5, and 6. And then, yung mga hindi natin binilugan, yun po yung ating mga uh, elements for A union B complement. Yun yung element na 2 tsaka 4. What about A intersection B? Okay, so kukunin muna natin dito yung common element or common elements ng A tsaka B. Bago natin kunin yung complement. Okay. So, again, yung universal set natin, elements sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Elements ng A, 1, 3, and then 5. Then, yung B naman, elements niya, 3, 6. What is A? Intersection B. Complement. Okay. So, yung common element ng A tsaka B is 3. Okay. Pero sulat muna natin yung mga elements ng A. 1, 3, 5. Intersection, 3, 6. So, again, yung common element ng A tsaka B is the element 3. Now, to get the complement, so, bilugan natin yung 3 dun sa universal set. And then, yung mga hindi nabilugan, 
yun po yung ating sagot for or yung elements ng A intersection B complement. 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. So for our next video lesson, we will be discussing first the introduction to probability. So ang probability po, uh, diniscuss po yan during grade 8, so fourth quarter. So bago tayo tumungo sa probability of union and intersection of events, I will uh, discuss uh, the introduction of probability muna. So para mas maging aware kayo dun sa mga terms or process in probability.